Blast. Okay. It's all getting a bit tight in the old balance department. So what I can do is I can shut this department down. And then build a food district here. No way of avoiding that, is there? Anyway, that's an unlimited food source, so we might as well tap into that. Materials are starting to get low, but that's okay. Pretty sure we can bring more people in. When one door closes, the first crack. Steward, the faith keepers have begun their monthly procession, visiting each door in the city as a symbol of the captain's presence alive in every home. However, a select group of Frostlanders refuse to leave their doors open. We aren't getting in their way, we just don't want strangers barging into our homes, one says. We are all one flock under his wing, urged a priest. How can we be united if one of us steps away? What should we do? <laughs> do I have to support it? Or stop it? Or not interfere? If I don't interfere, then everybody, my relationship with everybody, uh, is affected. To be honest with you, I don't like the idea of people just going into other people's houses. The new Londoners and the Faith Keepers are going to be unhappy with me. But I'd rather do that. And continue with that weird situation right what's going on here 41.2k so we're running low on resources there nearly depleted but not depleted that's fine k k k k we've got just enough to get some more food resources tapped in here have to start heading up this way to get into these food resources as well there's a good one there what's going on fire in the shaft steward a fire has broken out in our coal mine if we don't react we'll lose the mine along with the deposit some of the faith keepers engaged in the rescue effort insist we can still save the mine by cutting off the air supply to the shaft and suffocating the flames some miners are still making their way out which will suffocate them too Got to evacuate the workers. Fine. We're going to lose 50% of the coal that was there. But I think it's more important to save lives at this stage. Well, that's okay because I've already got another one set up, so we're kind of all right. Population increase 1,187 more people live here. Fantastic. So I didn't have to bring anybody in at all, but that means we haven't got enough housing again. City grows. Stuart, a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some at uh, attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the frostlands, others to burst outnumbering deaths. Whatever the cause, we have adjusted our calculations calculations of the city's needs. Right. Golly gosh. Never ending this, is it? 
Right, so we can do some housing over here. Don't know how well that's going to work, but we need to do it. We need to expand on this food district. Oh, hang on. Damn it, I can't get into those. They're too frozen in. As are these over here, so... Oh, crud, I don't think we can get out. Oh, can we get out this way? Okay. There's no access to the resource deposit. Hmm. That is a bit of a problem, isn't it? 56%. God, that's taken a while. Um, okay, so look. Could demolish it. That fuel stockpile hub can still sit there and still do its thing. Right, I need to go to the tree and we need to work on geothermal plants requires access to steam. Okay, housing insulation, what can we do here? Asbestos lining, that seems like a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't think we want asbestos in our houses, do we? What's this? Coal mines. So we could research blasting coal mines. Possibility. Advanced coal mines. So oh, this seems like a good idea. Advanced shaft coal mines. We don't have enough materials right now, but operation using a large vertical shaft to allow more teams to mine coal at the same time. That'll take 20 weeks. Cost us a core. Okay, we could do that. What have we got up here? Hang on. Ah, resources. Worker shifts, hot houses, sawmills, factories, factories, that's a good idea. No one else shares this idea. Salvaging factory. Um, large facility using discarded prefabs and goods, no matter how soiled, to manufacture new ones with minimal resources. I think that's a good idea. Potential of 40 goods output. That almost brings us up to exactly what we need. Let's reopen this. It's going to bring in more materials. Remember to keep your heat lamp maintained. It might just save your life. Now the food resource coming in there, I think it's an unlimited one as well, which is really handy. Herbert Hoover, 43, Perspective, mourning the loss of our coal mine. I should be dead. I was last out of the shaft, I heard it crumble behind me. All that coal burning up, enough to support the city for months. Now whenever I go through the streets, oh, I see those young faces freezing over. I wish I could go back and shut off the damn air myself. But I'm here, so I'll work and work until I die in the mines or see those young faces grow. I understand, fella. You're still with us. We need people. 
more than we need coal right now. At the moment, we are a little bit short on coal. Temperature will soon plummet. Oh, that's not good. A deer tree, okay. Jolly, 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 jolly good. And so we've got enough housing, so that's good. We almost have enough food. So that's good. We almost have enough. This stuff. Not quite enough. How are we getting on over here? Prefab production. Prefabs can be extracted from deposits like abandoned ruins or brought from the frostlands, but such resources have their limits and there may not be enough to cover the needs of a growing city. Prefabs can be produced from materials in an industrial district. Additionally, you can manually switch a given industrial district to start producing goods instead of prefabs. If you don't have enough prefabs to build an industrial district, remember that demolishing a district or building returns the prefabs. Yeah. Am I really low now? 45 prefabs remaining. That is low. We now don't have enough prefabs to do many things. Um, hmm. well, that's been taken down. These prefabs? They are. Right, okay. Hmm. So we need 150 prefabs. That's really annoying. Can I demolish? I don't really demolish very much. Right, we're in surplus. Surplus. Almost enough. That'll be enough when that comes in. But the temperature's about to drop. But that's a real problem. We're like, we're struggling here, aren't we? Right, okay, this has happened. I can bring people in or do something better. In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in study sturdy frostland gear neatly laid side by side left to freeze with black oil markings over their closed eyes a ghastly burial ritual a map we found suggests they were heading to an old machine somewhere by the desolate coast a machine would require a source of fuel we should investigate remains of a huge camp were found here and a crude map of the area painted on a cave wall suggests its occupants were heading to an old machine oh, is that the one i just read okay a community of frostlanders are eking out a pitiful living off moss and small fish with no furnace they survive by sleeping shoulder to shoulder under these thick layers of fur they would undoubtedly prefer to live in new london okay this towering structure often attracts okay well that's people 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 Got to connect the trails. 
It will take three weeks to do that. What have I not got enough of? Has it got to be to there? Because I haven't unlocked that area. Is that what you're telling me? That's going to cost 150 uh, heat stamps. I don't quite have 150 heat stamps. Okay, is it going to be cheaper to unlock the area over here? Oh, we don't have enough workforce. Oh, lordy. We don't have enough heat. We don't have enough workforce. Please give the right of way to frost breaking teams in transit. They require 60 heat. That's not good for us. Um, Three fabs. Kicking my ass. Salvaging factory. New building proposed by Frostlanders. Right, come on. We have a council, but when anything actually changed, for years the Faith Keepers have just had their way. But if this is a chance to block some of their idiotic ideas, we could show the city reason, convince them to adapt to the Frost, to embrace this new Ice Age, and tear ourselves away from our addiction to the generator i'll speak with the others tonight okay the new voice the evolvers recognized by the city evolver delegates 529 frostlanders have organized a, in a faction these evolvers prize cold rationality personal achievement and the adaptation to the frost by any means necessary they dislike family apprenticeship, but I don't care about that. They seek to pass community service, contagion pre uh, contagion pre 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 <laughs> prevention, bloody hell, childhood mandatory school, whatever. Adaptation, the whiteout years proved we cannot rely on machines. We must improve until we have the strength to survive anything. Huddling failure breeds weakness. We must instead reward accomplishment. We must reorder all facets of life with clear minds and cold hearts. Train workers, community action. The Evolvers will train workers to drastically increase productivity. Good relations perk. Okay. Okay. Duly noted. New faction. We have a new thing now. We do. The salvaging factory. And they... What do they do? They... Produce prefabs. I need 400 workforce and 180 heat stamps and 90 prefabs. Crap. I need to find prefabs from somewhere. Didn't get as much back from that as I was hoping. Last it. Um... I can get people. That's not a problem. Prefabs I want. So that could bring in 250 coal uh, until the half a million of coal is depleted. I mean, that's something, right? has to be a priority to get the coal coming in, but I desperately need prefabs.
Bosch. Right, well that's coal, potentially, coming in. How much coal have we got left here? 144 weeks, so not, not a lot. That's producing 144 a week, so it would be producing more than that. Not for very long. Uh, this game is tough. Tough, 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 tough. Nearly halfway there already, that's good. I desperately need some prefab. Uh, about 125 prefab as well. That's a lot. It's not, not going to be enough. Houses. Talk to me. Bio waste hot houses constructed in food districts. Industrial sized hot houses where chronic waste ferments in large vats, fertilizing revolving shelves of crops. Increases food output and disease. That doesn't sound very good. Worker shifts. Disease is slightly decreased. Oh, that's good. Heat demand in districts other than housing is decreased. Oh, that's good. That'll cost me 50 coins. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here that wasn't in the first one. Work compensation. Housing block. Residential tower providing functional shelter with basic amenities to workers and their families supported by the city. Society. What have we got? Hospitals, youth, watch towers. Watch tower outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment to monitor citizens and ensure order. Hubs. Maintenance hub, air hub, emergency medical hub. Okay. A lot of stuff there. We need how much? 720. That's an enormous amount. Gold has risen. People are tense. Yeah. Totally get it. Two days left, and we should have more uh... There we go. We got that connection. So now that should we should have more coal coming in. The heat situation has improved. Not a huge amount. Where am I going to get prefabs from? Abandoned mine outpost. Currently extracting coal. Okay. Uh, New London. I can bring in people. Gorge. Dangerous. Islands. Dangerous. The mountains. Dangerous. Possible finding. <laughs> Threat level. Deadly. Bypass, dangerous. Mountains, deadly. Food and cause. Requires 20 Frostland teams. That's a lot. Units of scout support crews and specialised Frostland workers. Frostland teams are needed to undertake operations outside the city. They are outfitted by logistic districts. How do I increase the numbers? 
Frostland teams are used to perform actions in the Frostland, such as exploring territories, discovering sites, and setting up outposts, harvesting sites, and colonies. Sometimes their presence is required to maintain a site, rendering them unable to perform any other action. Frostland's teams are recruited from citizens working in logistic districts. Building more logistic districts or buildings within those districts will increase the number of Frostland teams available. Frostland teams cannot be stockpiled and are only available in a district or a building providing them is turned on. Hey. Three fabs. We've got to go for it. Requires 20 Frostland teams. Right. How can I boost this up? Empty building slot. I don't know how to put a building in there, if I'm being honest. Um... Four hundred workforce, one hundred and eighty heat stamps, and ninety prefabs. For a free prosthetics consultation every Tuesday at seven p.m. by the generator. That's got 200 million. Oh, good. Warmer season. Heat demand is decreased. Thank goodness for that. That came at just the right time. But we can stockpile a little bit now. That's going to help quite a bit. Okay. So I'm thinking of knocking this down. What will that give me? 120 prefabs. That's what we need, isn't it? Let's go. Then I can grab these prefabs from here. may not quite be enough what about this the fuel stockpile yeah there's another 30 there maybe i could use that or i could take this down 45 prefabs it's not a terrible idea is it i could just rebuild that immediately after taking it down so that's not a big deal either that might be a better idea as if I get the salvaging factory built first because then at least that is bringing in an unlimited number ah, does that not go there A large facility using discarded prefabs and goods, no matter how soiled, to manufacture new ones with minimal resources. Okay, um... Oh, an industrial district. It's going to cost me 40 heat stamps. I just put an industrial district anywhere. Nail Skinfield, 38 housewife, worried about her son, looking for a culprit. Been coughing all night. Poor head as hot as the generator. It's them turners. I know it's them. They got that new flu, and here they are, strolling about the neighbourhood, carrying on with their business. They're killing people, that's what they're doing. Please, Lord Almighty, I can't stand it. The lack of law regulating contagion prevention is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Okay. Okay. society rule the 
survival. City. There it is. Contagion prevention. Let's have a look, see. So, supported quarantine. Contagious people will be placed in quarantine and cared for by the city in dedicated accommodation. 28 people are for that, 15 against, 22 are for infectious badges. Tension is slightly increased, disease is decreased, disease is significantly decreased, shelter demand per capita is slightly increased. I'm going to propose this one. It's actually 22 for and 21 against, that might not go through. Supported quarantine, let's do that.